Hello and welcome back to the Great War Western Front, our allied campaign. Uh, compared to the last campaign, I'm going to try to move through this one a little quicker. So I'm going to do a, uh, a little more auto resolve. I'm going to be more aggressive with that, um, especially in battles where I know I have an advantage and it's just going to be more attrition. So I'm going to try to use that to push through a little quicker. Um, I got a couple of events upon starting up. Um, number one, I um, just from advancing the turn, we had some more British and French corps show up. Um, and then I completed the landing strip mission where I re uh, researched landing strips and built one. That gave me some more British air wings. So now I have planes to cover a good part of the front here. Um, so I think what's next, as I'm looking at what I've got, um, I'm going to start building up to take Noyon. Don't think I'm going to attack this turn. Doesn't look like it's going to be to my advantage. So I will wait till the next one. Now the Germans haven't attacked in two turns. Let's see what we have for events. We got the British blockade, more national will. And if we research uh, first aid and a field hospital, we get some additional elite core. So can we do that? Yes. And I'm going to put the hospital here since we know we'll be needing it. There we go. We got some more. Uh, we got a French elite core. Which, hmm, where should I put this one? That is a very nice bonus if we're able to take Brussels. But there are just a ton of Germans stacked up there. So I'm instead going to uh, keep with my plan and try to attack into Noyon. Location confirmed. Now, I've got a decent amount of cash, so I'm going to build up supply depots that we're going to attack from. And let's Attention. attack from here first. Now, they have a, they've built up a lot of core, cores to defend, but they haven't in uh, Peron. So maybe I'll shift my target a little bit and attack Peron instead. Uh, first, let's... Let's see, do we we already have supplies built in Arras? All right, let's do it. All right, so we're going two heavy, two light artillery, and I'm going to try to attack through X. Um, looks like they have pretty heavy trench lines here. So we're gonna start chewing these up with uh, heavy artillery before we even start thinking about our assault. Now I'm gonna hit the uh, their balloons with light artillery. Uh, maybe I'll just go for this trench. These are... They don't look like they're improved trenches. So I don't imagine they'll... Uh, have too much extra protection. Though light artillery still doesn't do a whole lot. There is that probing attack we see in just about every battle. And they're getting taken down pretty quick by my riflemen. Not going to make it very far. There we go. That is all three of their uh, companies destroyed. Looks like that light artillery didn't do much at all to the uh, the balloon. Let's kick up the speed a little here. And I'm just going to keep hitting this with light artillery. It's not that much supply and it, it'll do a job. Uh, hopefully it'll get it low enough I can knock it out with just one heavy barrage rather than two. I definitely want their... Um, well, the balloon's part of an extra objective that I've got here uh, to destroy three observation balloons. And I want that machine gun gone before I launch my assault. Let's see, this might be enough with light artillery to finish these off. There we go, balloon's gone. And that machine gun's gone also. So I think we've got nothing left other than to launch an assault. Um, all right, they're counter batterying my light artillery. Better my light than my heavy. So I'm gonna throw it on pause here. We have new orders. And uh, let's have move to spots. We need to hold this position. We have new orders. Eventually, I'll experiment with um, moving to actual trenches rather than targeting spots. 
but this is being early in the campaign like this i don't feel like i have the advantages i need to comfortably experiment and each battle is going to be pretty uh precious to me here in terms of expending resources and wanting to get early momentum i want to try to win this before we get to the uh the end where it starts just knocking off national will rapidly after 19 i think that starts in 1918 where they start um just taking down national will real quick So I'm going to try to time this well once my troops get into the right range. Definitely need some light back here. And let's see. There, now they're getting ready to fire. So I'm going to hit them with heavy artillery. Um, let's see. I'll hit this trench with heavy artillery. Set Load light suppression shells. I'll throw Fire some light artillery teams. here and some garage. light artillery here. It's going to leave some of their riflemen who can still fire at me, but not a lot. And here I am just trying to get my guys in trenches quickly. We'll see how far we can make it. We've at least got some trenches taken. All right. Things are getting a little dicey. But now we have light artillery again. So what can I hit? Let's take out these machine guns and try to keep them off me at least. And I'm actually going to have these uh, elite troops wait. And there we go. We've got a couple of trenches taken. All right, not without losses, definitely with losses, but we're, we're in business. Trying to see the best way to get some reinforcements up here. Um, and historically that was a challenge too, that once you took some trenches, uh, it was really hard to get a second wave in there. Um, and hold on to them. You were vulnerable to counterattack because you were so far away from your lines um, and you were going to get hit by that second wave of uh, your second line of trenches as soon as you tried to bring reinforcements up. But I think I've got no choice here. Let's see what I can do with getting more troops up here. There we go, and at least because their trench system's disconnected, which is actually how I like to do it, um, they're on the disadvantage in counterattacking. There we go, they're attacking my trench for some reason. And I'm gonna slide these guys over to another trench, get them out of uh, the artillery fire there. And let's see, do I have anyone I can use? Yeah, I've got a little artillery here. Just try to suppress these guys. Um, do a little damage to their troops while they're in the open. And here come my reinforcements. Oh, and let's get everyone in uh, skirmish formation so we don't get wrecked by artillery. And we're going to get a little close to artillery or to machine guns here. I don't know if we'll actually be in machine gun range. Um, but as we're getting up to these trenches, we're definitely going to be in rifle range.
So yeah, we're our riflemen are able to put some fire on these guys in the back, but not enough that I feel safe. There we go, we got their machine guns down. And we've got some of these trenches taken. So now that we've got um, a little better foothold in these trenches, we'll wait for our artillery to reload and then make a move. Actually, we're going to make a move now. Since while we're waiting for artillery, that is just, you know, it's a shooting gallery. We've got guys in the open standing still, um, which is an invitation for their artillery. Stand by for orders. On the line. So let's see, I think I've got one company who's not moving. And I'll just get them moving. Let's get some fire going in between those trenches, fire going in between these trenches to keep them suppressed. All right, and some of our guys are retreating here. Not great, but I think we'll make it. Um, we are facing some conscripts, so that's going to make theirs... Uh, their troops much less effective. Am I actually going to make it to any of these? This assault might have just completely failed. I think I got too greedy and I wasn't ready. Get in that trench. Alright, so I wouldn't call that a success. We took the smallest possible amount of ground by the skin of our teeth and um, took a lot of losses doing it. Oh, look at this company we forgot about. I'll at least bring them up. And I'll bring in some more light artillery as well to, to try to keep them off my riflemen for a little while. Just want to get them in an advanced trench. And maybe if I can uh, put some more fire on these trenches, they'll get up and leave. And I can um, just walk right in. See, just like that, those trenches are weak. Yeah, this trench is going to fall. We're going to lose it. You are right. We can't win this. So I know they have these trench lines populated back there as well. All right, before anything bad happens, let's get them in skirmish formation. And plan out... We how we're orders. gonna get through um get in position. so that trench Attention. is gonna be a priority on the line. as is this one Stand by for um Ready on the line. let's see i know we have let's see do i have two selected here yeah Ready i want to take this trench for sure just trying to position. gauge Good where the best the use line. of my Fire. heavy artillery is i would like more artillery here now now that I think about it. We'll see who's not moving out. I kind of lost track out of which uh, units I was sending where. Wish there was a hotkey to see which units were advancing where. Like in, uh, I think it's Total War. I forgot to suppress them with artillery. That was stupid of me. I think it's in Total War, you can hold space or something and it'll highlight where all the units on the map are going. Um, something like that I think would be really helpful. There we go, I heard a lot of rifle fire, hoping it was mine. Up, 
And I'm just going to try to get in these trenches while I can. Because we are not going to make it far. Let's see, any guns available? Yes. I said yes. All right, so we... Man, we still didn't capture this trench on the left. I thought we would have had it for sure. All right, while I move up this other company, I'm gonna try to keep them suppressed. I wonder if I should kind of flip the script here and wait for them to counterattack and swing the casualties in my favor because I don't think I'm really going to be able to make much progress. Even if I'm losing battles, the uh, I could still win on the casualty front. Let's just wreck these guys with artillery. And now that I think about it, I think I can get in this trench and if I can clear these guys out I'll capture X and that's gonna be enough for maybe a slight victory our supplies severely severely depleted yep oh we've got some uh, friends coming to join us from the left side look at that Artillery on a formation in the open and three casualties light artillery So I think I think that's enough to call it a case study there and Really just say that light artillery is not worth it in a um, Damage dealing role it's worth it for Suppression but not for actually doing damage to enemy units Once this, these guys are both suppressed, I'm just gonna send them straight across and get in this trench line. And that's a really good start for me to, to hold on to this area. Um, when I can get these other couple of units out, then I think that's gonna be enough for me to capture X. Oh, now they're coming right to me after I started that artillery barrage. I don't know why, I just, I just said it wasn't effective and then I started doing it again. There we go, we're now capturing X. Ooh, let's get these guys spread out before something terrible happens. Um, where else? Wow, they're sending some serious conscripts at me. All right, I think, I think now's the time to sit tight and not do anything else. I'm just gonna let these counterattacks get defeated. And then I think I'm going to cease fire. Oh, hello. Uh-oh, didn't have the range there. All right, they're at least suppressed. We've got X. Um, if they're launching any more attacks, I'll deal with it. Otherwise, let's just let these barrages happen. And oh, they're now it's doing a lot more damage now that they're in a trench. That's interesting. All right, let's cease fire there. I wonder how this is going to look by the numbers. I'm guessing we're going to be stuck in ceasefire or maybe a minor victory. And let's see. Stalemate. We had more replenishment costs than they did. Um, no one really had a good time, but I think we were worse off for that. Let's see how it looks on the world map. All right, so we spent 760 gold, 400 supplies. Let's have the French attack here and see how this one goes and it's probably going to be worth it to build a field hospital. I'm going to auto-resolve this. I want to see how it goes. Stalemate again. And I think... 
unless they move these guys out of Noyon, um, because they have six core there, I think we are going to not attack there for now. On a de nouveaux ordres. Although Vouzier, Vouzier, Vouziers, um, they only have three core there, and I could build up an attack. Um, let's see. These have different numbers of troops. Interesting. They have 22 companies. I have not played with those uh, those colonials yet. Um, let's see. Just thinking about what it would take to really make a difference there. I'm going to sit tight for now and advance the turn. So they spied in Lille, which means they're probably going to attack there soon. And here we are in April 1915. Enemy spies on our territory cost us five national will. Let's check out the events. We have Gallipoli, complete disaster for the allies, minus 10 national will. And what's next? Destroy eight machine gun nests. We should do that one without a problem. All right, it is April 1915. We have one point um, for research. And I am going to spend that on wartime donations to get our gold reserves up. With that, I'm going to call the episode for today. Thanks again for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series and have a good one.